What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's a Bitcoin miner here, guys. Well, this is the Threadripper build in front of me. I have got it plotting Chia at 35 plots in parallel at get this, at 28,000 seconds, which is about 7 hours, at 35,000 plots. But you know what? I still cannot seem to tax this thing. It's only using 50% of the GPU. So I had the bright idea of actually seeing what else we could do with this guy. I am mining Varus, and I am mining Ethereum with the GPU, and we're plotting 35 plots in parallel, and we're farming at the same time. This thing is a monster. It's just so if you want the ultimate Chia plotter, I, I, I really think this is the, the rig right here. 256 gigs of RAM, uh, 64 core Threadripper. I mean, 16 gigs of uh, the two drives with the Intel SSDs, uh, the high speed, high endurance drive. Yeah, the graphics card's kind of lame. It's a 1080 Ti, but it's what I had around. It's my VR gaming rig, and I actually finally just got um, a good card in. So this is going to go into there. It's been a, a challenge to get the cards, as you guys already know. But uh, let's go over to the screen, and well, actually, let's check out how much power this thing is using. So again, we're mining Varus with 65 or 64 cores, or yeah, 64 cores. We are plotting 35 uh, plots in parallel at like 30, uh, excuse me, 28,000 uh, seconds. And we're mining Ethereum at like 36,000 mega hashes. Actually, that can probably be much higher. I just have to put the ETH enlargement pill on here. I haven't done that yet. But let's go check out the power consumption on what we're actually consuming to do all this. Oh, and we're farming Chia. So the Chia that's actually on the hard drives up over here are farming at the same time as we are plotting them. And we're doing all of that for about 650 watts of power. Oh my gosh, that's um, pretty decent. I love this Threadripper. So all right, here we go guys. As you can see, we're still only using 95, 93% of the actual CPU power. I don't want to, oh, it jumps up to 100, but I don't want to overtax it. So that way it doesn't bottleneck any of the uh, plots. That's kind of the main thing I'm doing right now. I'm just using all the excess power to do other things and other resources. So this is to me is like one of the ultimate uh, mining machines right here. I could run quite a few GPUs on this as well. It's got some M.2 slots. Um, you can splice those off, plus an extra slot. Yeah, I could probably run about five GPUs, maybe even six GPUs doing all of this. Um, this thing is just really a monster. Uh, if you guys are looking for a really crazy rig. But uh, the biggest thing is, is why am I not doing more than 35 plots in parallel with Chia is because of the SSDs. So I'm going to do another video talking about the SSDs. These are the eight terabyte ones. I have the two terabyte ones and the other ones. They just really bottleneck once you get over 12. Even 14 slows them down uh, drastically, the two terabytes. These drives in RAID uh, can get up to about 35 before you really start to get into any type of uh, bottleneck. And I start noticing the slowing down. It's extremely fast at 20 and under uh, plots, but... You do the math, you're better off to do more plots at the same time. So as you can see, we're Ethereum mining right here. And... Varus mining. <clears throat> we're getting about 65 mega hashes on Luckpool Varus mining, which is using the remaining 50% of the GPU power, uh, excuse me, CPU power that's available. Um, so let's see, that's making, let's go look and see what that's making. All right, guys, if you don't know about this website, it's called what to mine It's an awesome website. Um, basically, it's a really good calculator. We're using the Varus calculator right here. I put the 66 in, as you guys can see. Uh, the power for the Threadripper, you did about half, 75. Um, the cost, you know, my power cost and so forth. And depending on your power cost, it's going to fluctuate. <laughs> But uh, this guy is making just under $3 a day, and it's making two sixty eight dollars after my power, plotting 35 chi at the same time. Uh, so if you guys are really looking for a powerhouse um, and something that you can use afterwards to plot to actually mine, 
uh, Varus or something else. Let's go look and see how much uh, Ethereum it's making right now. Okay, let's take a look at Ethereum. We went ahead and entered the assumed hash rate, the cost, the power, and it's making about $5 a day after power cost. So about $7.50 extra while we're plotting 35 in parallel, about two and a half times a day, maybe three times a day, probably closer to two and a half times a day. Since so many people have been asking for it and kind of teach you guys all the different configurations, the different ways we can do builds, um, and uh, I've just had a chance to kind of play with it. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Threadripper video to kind of give you an idea of what the upper, the upper end can really accomplish, what it's capable of doing. So this is the triple miner right here, killing it at 50C. <laughs> um, and uh, it's just rocking and rolling, guys. If you're interested in this build and want to build something just like it, uh, you can act, I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, there's a whole video on the build of this Threadripper. The only difference is, is I added the uh, cards right here, the 8 gig cards, which I'll also put a link down in the uh, description for those. They're about $1,000 a piece, but they have super high endurance and the uh, speed as well. So thanks again, guys. For uh, checking out the video, remember to like, subscribe, and there's a lot more videos to come. Talk to you guys soon. There are a lot of payment methods available, and they all address privacy differently. If you go to a store and purchase something with cash, you don't have to tell the cashier how much money you have or purchases you made in the past. But in today's digital world, you can't use cash. So what do you do? You can use a credit card, which can do a lot of things that cash can't, like sending international payments or purchasing things online. But credit card transactions aren't private. Your name, address, purchase history, and balance info are stored by merchants and credit card issuers. This gives them access to information like how much credit you have, your traveling history, as well as things you buy. And they can reduce your credit or even worse, cancel your card altogether, leaving you without a source of funds. Another possible solution is cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, one of the most popular, but it's not private. Financial transactions using Bitcoin are stored in a public blockchain, which is transparent to everyone, not just the payment processors or merchants. Anyone can see the balance in all transactions of any Bitcoin address. Now there is a new way to combine the privacy of cash with the global reach of crypto. It's called Verus. While Verus provides transparent addresses called T addresses, as well as transactions very similar to Bitcoin and visibility on the blockchain, Verus users also have a choice to send and receive funds and encrypted messages using the latest cryptographic technology known as ZK Snarks by using a fully private Verus address known as a Z address. T and Z addresses are like HTTP and HTTPS. HTTP is the underlying protocol that lets you browse the web. In the early days of the internet, hackers could capture sensitive data easily because the original HTTP protocol wasn't encrypted. This eventually changed, and people realized the need for encryption, and a new standard was born, HTTPS, which is what most websites use today. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP. It keeps information private that is sent over the internet. Verus is a privacy-protecting protocol. People can't see your past transactions or balance when you use Verus, unless you want them to. The Verus community believes in privacy for all as a basic human right. Verus. The next evolution in cryptocurrency and beyond. Discover more at Verus.io. Truth and privacy for all.